The New Kids on the Block presentation by Almaguera Martinez, Luis Bravo, Celeste Limon, and Nathaniel Ramos. The New Kids on the Block case. The case of the New Kids on the Block is based on a large operational division that deals with book and audio sales that come from customer service sales from online and phone services. One third of the sales come from the customer service center and their responsibility to ensure quality, market rewards programs, and customer needs. The company is composed of 30,000 employees where 5,000 work for customer service and half of them are unionized workers and with operational supervisors who are non-unionized. As an organization development consultant, the directors have asked for us to provide training to the customer service supervisors. The directors believe that the supervisors are not managing correctly, causing the teams not to meet their goals for the organization. They fear that if this continues, that it will have a negative effect on market share and profit. Since they believe that the supervisors are not properly trained, their lack of skills will not let them perform accurately. According to the directors, their recruitment for supervisors is not done correctly. Their training is inconsistent and lacking, and the trainings available for them don't require them to participate. Another issue, the trainings are designed for leaders across the organization and it is not specific for supervisors in the customer service division. We are a consultant development group named Prestige Worldwide and our organization has been in business for 10 plus years. The organization is composed by over 30,000 employees that work in the retail locations and in the customer service centers. The customer service center is built for the customers to connect and to be insured of purchase products, market rewards program, and also the support of customers through any other concerns. Our purpose as consultants is to help management to get the correct training they need to help increase customer service status and for the companies to allow us to help them be more efficient in their characteristic in their company during the daily routines or operations. As a consultant, our goal is to work and to ensure attention to developing relationships that are reliable for our directors to help potentially develop a better management and marketing function. The training proposal. The types of training we need are the following. Supervisor training. Directors believe that supervisors are not managing correctly due to the teams not meeting their goals for the organizations. A big reason this is happening is due to the fact that the trainings are not mandatory, causing the supervisors to lose motivation of their goals. Management training. Due to the customer service team not meeting their goals, management must be lacking something as well. Management and supervisors must be on the same page if they want to be a successful organization. Distinguish the training programs. The trainings that existed are now designed for leaders across the organization, and it is not specific for the supervisor, management, etc. in the customer service division. Trainings are to be created for individual employees dealing with their title. All trainings must be mandatory. All staff must have mandatory trainings to ensure that the organization as a whole understands the company's mission, vision, goals, etc. Directors believe that if we make the trainings more consistent and mandatory, things will turn from negative to a positive in meeting certain quotas. The following are trainings that we will offer for supervisors, management, and other employees at the call centers. The first one is mandatory and compliance training, managerial and supervisory training, profession and industry specific training, process, procedures, and business practices, customer service training, new employee orientation training, sales training, IT and systems training, product knowledge training, executive development training, Interpersonal skills communication between teams training, basic skills training, performance management training, fundamentals of coaching training, basics of call coaching, ways to promote motivation, call center time management, call center supervision, and self coaching for supervisors. Okay, so these are the four levels of evaluation. Um, the first one would be the reaction. We want to get how to get the reaction is from the questionnaires. After going through the process of the training, we want them to fill out surveys 
to see their satisfaction of how and where they stand. Um, their behavior, we want them to go through interviews, uh, through on-site observations, follow-up questionnaires, customer service uh, surveys. Uh, these are just testing their learning skills throughout the whole job. This evaluation helps them measure out exactly where they are in the classroom and on the uh, workplace. And this will also help the organization increase and improve their skills um, to continue on making the job better. Okay, continuing on, um, the next one would be the learning. Basically, we wanted them to learn from their testing that they do, their uh, case studies and examples that is helped throughout the classrooms, and of course, their assessments that they have to take. The results that we want to get is the before and after records of the overall turns in the sales and the market shares that is improved throughout the company. This helps re, uh, reflect off of exactly what needs to be improved in the organization. This will also prove the learning skills that is being taught during the classroom and the performance that is giving to the employees on the work floor. After completing the training program, trainees will have a better understanding of operation and organizational goals, an increased knowledge of customer service, and tactics on how to effectively run a call center. On the other hand, management will see increased morale in the employees, improved productivity, reduced employee turnover rate, and a minimized occurrence of errors. Objectives to success in operation and organizational goals simply means to show a result in increased productivity, reduced turnover, and fewer customer complaints by making sure supervisors and employees focus on meeting operational goals placed by management. To elaborate further, new advisors will be given onboarding training and realistic job previews to prepare them on what they may face. Next, supervisors will be trained on how to set distinct and detailed goals for their employees to accomplish. Once everyone is going in the right direction, the department cannot fail. This will be measured over time after completion of the training program. Please keep in mind that it will be a continuous process as there will always be something to learn in the future because today's solutions may not work for tomorrow's problems. To dive further into the objectives for success, onboarding and realistic job previews will help the new supervisors be prepared for most problems faced within the workplace. We believe by having an insight into the new position, the new supervisors will be confident enough to successfully tackle any challenge they may face. Also, by setting clear and descriptive goals, employees will have a better understanding of how to achieve those goals, thus reducing confusion and improving productivity. With following the recommended program, success will not be unnoticed. The area management and supervisors must get together and follow is a process cycle beginning with preparing the worker. That can be done by noticing where exactly the issues are. Next, to present the task by letting them know what will be changing and what you are looking for. Practice by demonstrating to employees how things are to be done from now on and watch them. Follow up. Continuing to check in on employees randomly to ensure they are not going back to their old ways. And that, ultimately, will lead to better employees. For managers and supervisors to come together and demonstrate change, they first need to address the issue, which will lead to creating a new training program, which will lead to better customer service. Results will be seen if following these simple steps. Preparing the employees appropriately to understand the company's operation and organizational goals, increased knowledge of customer service, higher communication proficiencies, and tactics of how to effectively run a call center will greatly improve many areas in the call center and there will be a better forecast with customer service reviews. Not everyone will be able to comprehend the ultimate goal at hand with providing the training program to employees and there could be some disconnect. Internal transferring would be an option to assist those employees, but noticing it, seeing it about the few percent will help the teams being trained greater if they were all on the same page moving forward.
about our failure intersections. No, they weren't. It just felt bad hearing about how bad we were doing our job. Well, we aren't failing that horribly to what they want uh, their standards to be. I think we should need some more help and some additional training just to get to where they want us to be. Yeah, that's true. That's true. We know that the bosses want to see a big change in each of our sections. Yeah, but change in a section is going to be tough. I mean, I can't even get my... Oh my god! <sighs> it's not good. It's not good. They held me back. The directors held me back. And, uh, they were talking to me more about implementing their change in, the, in our sections. And, and they even said that if we don't do it, our, our, our jobs are on the line. Wait, why? Our jobs are on the top line? That's what they told me when your guys left. Okay, let's calm down. I think we need to create a game plan to help all of our employees to help survive this change so we can help them uh, become comfortable with it. Nobody likes change. I don't like change. Yeah, you're right. Neither do I. Yes, but we have to make ourselves uncomfortable or else they'll move on from us. Well, maybe we can build a training program that can help build our sections up and to help understand why it's not that bad. Yeah, that's a great idea. Do you think this training program will work? I think it's worth a shot. I mean, our directors did tell us that we need more training. After everyone takes the training on change management, we still need to get together so we can hope that uh, we can all move in the right direction for each of our sections. But do you think each of our sections will be on board? I don't think we really have a choice. We need to implement this change no matter what. If we can get everybody moving in the same direction, that would be great. But then again, there might be still a small chance that the employees won't agree with it and probably won't be on board with his idea. Well then, we'll have to think and see on which employee is going to be a hindrance and see if it's going to be them adapting to the change slower or if they don't want to change at all. And I think to help implement the change, we're going to have to create a reward system to help uh, motivate our guys. And overall, I think everybody would just be happier and it'd be way easier just to get everybody going forward. That's good. Once that happens, then we should just keep our foot on the gas and continue going, striving towards a different change in our direction. Yeah, we cannot let up. You know, but one thing is, if our employees see us slacking and not implementing the change, then I don't think they're going to take it that seriously. Yeah, that's true. But with all of us together and helping each other out, making sure that we're on top of our sections, maybe that would motivate us together as supervisors. Yeah. Agree. If we supervisors stay together and help each other as well as our sections, then instituting change will not be hard at all. Yeah, do we all agree? Yeah. Sweet.